Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Maya Preferred 223 and what I think, especially if I think it's a scam or not. I'm going to show you everything which I have and I will tell tell you at the end of the video what I really think about. So let's start with the coin market cap situation. It looks really, really bad at the moment and it hasn't been looking good in the last couple of days and weeks and months. So when we go here, we see the problem is we have huge jumps a little bit up and down, but it's actually more down. The problem is that the market is super, super thin. When we go to market, pa uh, market pass, we can see there are just two exchanges and then one exchange it, the volume is zero and on the other exchange the volume is super low i mean we have on the cat x we have only about what's that not even 500 dollars uh yeah or in, yeah it's that's pretty close to 500 dollars uh volume 24 hour volume that's uh, nothing i mean for a uh, cryptocurrency which is supposed to back the, the Bitcoin and the whole, they wanted to back the whole crypto market with their gold, which is stored in uh, somewhere Mexico. Maya preferred 223 claims to be backed by gold and silver reserves and a fast implementation of a blockchain with smart contracts running on Ethereum Classic. It was designed to be used as a decentralized stable crypto asset within the ethereum classic ecosystem and beyond i mean the stable crypto asset it's a little bit strange when we see the jumps up and down has nothing to do with uh, some kind of stable coin when we uh, see the chart i mean the overall chart we can see it started i think that was the start here it started with a price of 17,000, went up to about uh, almost 25,000. then it has had they had this one to 100 forward split and when we see the latest price of 22,000, then it when it went to 246 that's pretty much just the split which makes sense but from then on the price went up crazy uh, up to 1500 again which is uh, really cr absolutely crazy but since then and that's just i mean when we see this price we have seen even probably in beginning of november or at least october yeah end of october and now we are three months late and from this 1700 there are 60 dollars left i mean it lost more than 95 percent in only three months that's a stable coin are you kidding me it has nothing to do with a stable coin i think for me yeah i'll tell you at the end what i think but uh, you can imagine what i will tell you i mean the huge jumps up and down is because of the really thin market of course they they don't have such huge jumps it's just because of limited buy and limited sell orders so here regarding the market and market pairs definitely not looking good and so let's check a little bit on the websites so when we go to their own website there is some information but not much actually and it looks from my perspective it looks very very basic i mean that's something which i would probably be able to do within a couple of weeks or so without any knowledge about um, yeah, HTML and, and these things. I mean, or just a little bit of experience about these things. So it looks really, really super basic. And we see also the listing of their 11 gold and silver mines, which they say they, they are backing up this Maya Preferred 223. Uh, we have this listing, uh, really strange names here, Tequila Project. Yeah, have they been drunk and looking for a name? I don't know. <laughs> it's really strange. Uh, yeah, can't find the listing here. That, uh, they claimed to have some kind of certification 
that uh, it's coming from government or something like that who confirms that they have crazy amounts of gold and silver stored in these mines down there and somebody uh, was actually saying yeah what they claim is more than the whole amount of gold and silver which has been digged out since human uh, is is around so it it can't, it can't be that much i haven't checked that i have seen the document about a year ago and it looked really scammy and at least very outdated it was i think two or three years old and i thought yeah they're gonna make an ICO or something like that and then they ha have a document which is so old i mean in two or three years you can easily sell your whole gold which uh, were stored uh, these days then in in the mines didn't really look very legit and yeah, what we find is also information about uh, one uh, crypto channel that's the crypto uh, analysis or something like that i'll show you that later on so really not much information about them here we have something about their team but also not much than the updates there was something like uh, updates which i have seen but it was totally outdated as well yeah here we have the guy yeah just uh, i can recommend do some research about him yeah there are some really strange information about what he has already been doing and there are some informations which uh, didn't look too positive for me but anyway i mean the whole thing the video uh, to remind you this is just my personal opinion this is not professional financial advice or information it's just my uh personal own opinion on that doesn't have to be absolutely perfect and correct this is just what i think what i have found so by the way yeah there was yeah here we have it so that's the last information on their website news provided by 24 7 press release news wire the last update is from march 2019 almost one year old after that nothing okay and check this thing out here that looks dirt cheap here if if you have millions or billions stored in gold and silver and you're trying to launch a big project is this something you would do uh, yeah i guess not yeah here we have also something that's from bensinga.com but it looks like more like a press release they do not uh, question anything they just write things I, I think it's it's coming just more or less straight from this website they didn't dig uh, any any deeper here then something i found on coinspeak.com but it is just about the forward split they say it's the first ever forward split in cryptocurrency history yeah could be i mean i haven't heard about forward split in cryptocurrency usually they don't do that uh, doesn't make any sense because it's not a share which you can just buy in whole pieces cryptocurrency you can buy in uh, yeah 0 0.000 uh, whatsoever i mean we know the bitcoin they are um, you can buy in satoshi which is not even one cent so no problem with that so absolutely no need to make a forward split or something like that i don't know why they did that for me it doesn't make any sense but maybe there was a reason i couldn't find out so far then here this channel this is the channel which they were featuring on or are featuring on their website official website so it looks like it's the only channel who is uh, reporting about this cryptocurrency this is really strange nobody else is covering that and he came out in a, in a sudden i mean i was watching this channel for years or almost years and they came out or he came out it's a young uh, analysis and he's doing a great job regarding uh, technical analysis but i am not so into a technical analysis because i don't see the big value in cryptocurrency about that but anyway yeah he started covering 
uh, Maya preferred and almost on a daily basis he was totally chilling this token and saying yeah I'm totally into that this is coming good and great and the best thing and they are backed up they will back up Bitcoin they will back up the whole crypto market and I asked him hey what do you mean was backed up I mean that's that sounds really good I mean and we remember in the old ages um, they were talking about like uh, that currencies real currencies like uh, the euro or the US dollar uh, were backed by gold so the, the, it, it has a real value which doesn't go away but uh, it, it's a total different thing I mean we don't have this anymore it's just a, a little bit the dollar isn't backed by by whole gold or not not euro it's not possible anymore because there are so many around but yeah I asked this guy what, what, what he means I mean it, it sounds really good backed by gold but what, what does he mean if Bitcoin drops from now almost ten thousand dollar to one dollar so what do they give me will will my preferred uh, give me my money back because of bitcoin drops and there was never an answer I, I have no clue what they really meant by backing up a cryptocurrency yeah i mean they said really they will back up bitcoin they will back up the whole crypto market all the cryptocurrencies and so on i have no clue what they really meant i think that was just saying like something they wanted to come out with some slogan with some crazy thing which everybody can remember but at the end it's it it, it is nothing it, it it there's nothing behind that i mean even for for us dollar if you are uh, like from Europe and the in, you invest into dollar and let's say dollar was backed by gold and the dollar price went down to one cent I mean one euro cent uh, nobody would give you back your your money I mean uh, yeah it's 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 basically nothing then I have found really one super interesting site here this is called the is this coin as cam.com really interesting site I can't remember that I've been here and it doesn't have crazy a uh, lot of information but it's quite good it's the thing which is I actually most comprehensive with a lot of coins and I highly recommend before you invest into something in the crypto market go here and check out what they have and if they have maybe even some comments on that and they say I mean it's not a rating but it's just like project status how much is going on and they also say yeah it's very very quiet there's almost nothing going on they have the, they have their website and yeah they have not even published an official white paper the 24-hour volume yeah they have 1000 I have seen 500 uh, they have also an old price yeah here we have I uh, think more the from CMC the official price then we see all these status scores like development score sentiment score community score awareness score age score volume score everything is actually zero except the age score which says actually not much then we have also uh, very uh, negative things here I guess commits uh, that's the code commit yeah if it's not open source something like that uh, sometimes the the track commit uh, the the code commits can be tracked and that's probably it then we come down to news where we can see there's not much going on they say just they have completed this transaction with digital fantasy sports yeah it doesn't really sound as a stable thing uh, digital fantasy sports yeah okay I mean it doesn't have to be bad and then we have here some final checks if we have a preferred my preferred is missing some profile data and also here in the feedback area we have two two out of three two people really saying yeah it's definitely a scam it's 100 percent scam yeah check out the guy and so on and they say yeah 
uh, I don't know where it is but uh, yeah here it is Maya preferred claims to have more gold in 11 mines all in Mexico than has been mined in the whole existence of humanity uh, some some really strange things check this guy out I haven't done this but uh, I have done this earlier and it didn't look very good uh, I think he was involved in some kind of yeah let's say at least doubtful operations but i i don't have more details at the moment here then when you go to the twitter twitter.com my preferred when you check their channel and you will find that there is not much going on in december they had their last post i think uh november 2nd yeah, some kind of big promises big news is coming for my preferred and the DF, uh, dfs coin holders uk finance limited is in the final development stage with its projects and something that are going to be classified as unbelievable to the cryptocurrency world is coming really strange why then the price has been dropping since then uh 95 percent or even more then they uh yeah show this latest thing here from this channel and when we click on their latest news their, their latest tweet from november 2nd check out these comments here most of them are just one word like amazing awesome great good job great project great good good project nice great nice good project uh yeah uh, are you kidding me these are never 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 ever real comments these are bots and scam and whatsoever this looks like the xrp army after you do something if you are chilling the xrp like ripple then you would have maybe <laughs> similar comments or if you would yeah say something negative you would have same thing in in, in a bad way but this is i mean n never um yeah it, it never looks like this if you have real feedback on twitter people really commenting on these things maybe you can check out these people i have no clue about them but most of them are re seem to be really fake i mean the fake at least the comments that they are really really strange i mean nobody would comment like this this is bots or paid or whatsoever but definitely not real so my personal thoughts my personal stance the way i'm thinking about this project is represented by this hand here or by this pointer uh, definitely as red as it gets uh, i don't see any kind of positive things there is almost no i mean yeah there's basically since three months there is no news prices going down everything looks super super scammy uh, there is not really one positive point about that which i could tell you and i'm really happy that i never invested into that despite this guy was shilling this coin i mean yeah i never trusted really this guy and his promises and so I, it looks like uh, i had the right feeling about that and i highly recommend to be very very careful i'm not saying that you cannot invest into something like that but i mean it's your it's your personal decision but this is definitely ultra high risk no doubt about that if somebody bets ten dollars on that yeah why not but uh, <laughs> uh, more more than that would, would be definitely crazy at this moment so uh yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or yeah whatever you think about this project please leave anything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about the things and especially if you are still invested or you or you have been invested and sold or whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area really happy to talk about and learn new stuff and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time